Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going out bass fishing to one of my favorite spots. It's not far from here, crystal clear water, and I've never been skunked on the lake. I normally catch quite a few bass. They're normally not the biggest, but I'm hoping I can change that today and catch at least one three pound plus fish. And you never know, I might catch something else. I don't know what's in the lake. I've only ever caught bass. I've seen other fish, and I've heard people catching pike out there, but Let's just get out in the water and see what happens. See you guys out there. Tiny little guy. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me because of the wind and everything, but hopefully you guys can. First bass of the day. Little tiny guy. Yeah, this isn't a very good fish, but you know, it's good. It's way to start. I came off a dock right here, up by some rocks. Docks right there next to a rocky bank. Hopefully, I can catch some more. Come on, come back down, yep. Decent one. Especially for this fight, can't really ever find big ones in this one. Good hook set. Decent little bass. Probably, maybe keepable, I'm not sure. Decent little bass. Second one a day, not doing too bad. Not a great day fishing so far, but you know, I'll take what I can take. It's fall, it's normally not too easy to catch fish, or at least for me, I don't really care for the fall. It does look beautiful out here with all the trees though. And again on the bandito bug, I was, that one was right underneath the dock. I threw in between the dock and the boat and I didn't know if I went over a rope when I did. And I really, when I got that bite, I was really worried he's gonna get wrapped around that rope because I could see afterwards, but I got him up over it. And hey, two fish, been here maybe an hour, maybe half an hour. Pretty good for me. Let's get back to fishing. one. He hammered it, but he's just a little guy. Third bass of the day. Third bass of the day. Another little one. Yeah, that was third one. Again, bandita bug right off this dock again. Same pattern. I'm running out of docks to fish, so I'm probably going to have to go out deep soon. I fished almost the whole south side of the lake. This lake is really tiny. I chose that because this wind's really bad. You can't hear it right now because I'm kind of covered with this hill right be behind the camera. This 
with this tiny fish. No way. No way. How? 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 How did this tiny bluegill try and eat this? It's the same size as him. It's not even a big bluegill. Oh my god. How do I even hook him? Their mouths are tiny. This hook is huge. <laughs> oh my god. Well, four fish, I think. Right? Yeah. Not what I'm looking for, but Fish is fish. I had a really bad backlash, so I decided to cut my line. And I decided to throw on swim jig. I'm not deep right now, but I'm gonna head out to where the drop off is. It's only a little bit off the bank, but it drops from like five foot to like 15 foot. I think that's where these big bass are gonna be stacked up right now, especially during the fall, the wind. They should be on the wind swept bank, which is where I'm heading over to. We'll see. cast with the swim bait and the little guy ate it. Switch to a hard body swim bait just to try and change up the action a little bit. Another little guy. Probably smallest of the day but hey fish is fish I'll take it. It's always fun to catch little guys even if especially right now you know I'm not catching any big ones but it still is fun. That was on the like bluegill colored uh, swim bait, baby bull shad, I think by a, I don't know what company makes it, but hopefully I can catch some more. That was only like the second or third cast that, with that on. fish with treble hooks are kind of scary. <laughs> okay, there we go. Another tiny one. I think this one's probably the smallest of the day. He's about the size of my hand. <laughs> but, you know, it's always fun to just catch a lot of fish, even if they're tiny like this, you know. Again, that came off that swim bait that I just tied on the bull shad. He's pretty though. Nice colors. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Probably 30 something inches. There's the spot. There it is. Take a step back. That's a nice spike. 
Let's go, guys. Ooh. I was not expecting this, guys, especially with how small these small bass that I'm catching. This thing's probably eating those. This is a nice pike. It looks like something, another pike or something tried hitting him right in this fin right here. Ooh. Let's go, guys. <laughs> I'm going to keep him. I like eating pike. It tastes pretty good, especially if you know how to clean them, but that's a nice fish. Let's go. But he hammered the swim jig as I was reeling it out. Oh, my line is barely surviving. This 15 pound fluoro, and I it is ripped to shreds. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's all tore up. <laughs> I was about to stop fishing the swim jig, but I'm gonna have to keep it on. I was out in like 30 foot of water, casting in probably 15, 20. I was trying to avoid, there's some people fishing, um, or in their kayaks fishing up by shore and I was trying to give them space on this little swim jig. I think it's like a bluegill color with a goby or green pumpkin blue flakes, uh, three inch swim bait on the back trailer. This has done really good for me this year. I caught a lot of pike out on another lake early in the spring on it. They were all tiny, but that's that's a good sized pike. Best one of my this year for me. I was not expecting that fish and I wasn't expecting to land it after I saw what it was too. When I first saw it, I thought it was a muskie just because the pattern looked weird to me in the water. As you guys saw, I caught a ton of tiny little bass, and it was a lot of fun catching them, don't get me wrong. But that big pike at the end definitely made my day ton better. I did catch all those little bass up shallow, nothing very really special to them, but the big pike at the end made my day a lot better. I'm happy I landed him, because normally when I'm bass fishing and I hook into a pike, I normally don't land it, because the pike's teeth will cut my line. But I did think I... Was that on my four rod? I think so. So it was 15 pound test. So decent chance of landing that fish. And that was just a lot of fun, you know? It made me really happy. Anything over 30 inches is pretty big up here. I think my, today's ended up being 33. My biggest is 36, maybe 37. And I'm still looking for my uh, Master Angler Award one, which is 40 plus. I'm hoping I can catch that eventually, but Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, check out one of the videos right here. Hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time.